Facebook, YouTube. Hello. Gotta give it up for the sun. Gotta give it up for the sun. You know, give it up, give it, give it up to the sun. Hey, hey. All right, y'all. Check this out. Finna go cartoon on y'all. You know, I'm gonna say the reality of this message is why did the turtle beat the rabbit? Why did the turtle beat the rabbit? You know, of course I'm gonna talk about the, you know, the, 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 the turtle versus the rabbit. The rabbit is way faster than the turtle. I mean, it's just ridiculously faster than the turtle. The turtle is just entirely too slow. But why did the turtle beat the rabbit? Well, as you look, now you think, well, Mac, what does got to do with the word of God, Mac? You know? Well, as you know, the uh, scripture, it says, you know, the race is not given to the swift, ha, 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 but the ones who endure to the end. Ha, ha, yeah. But why did the turtle beat the rabbit? See, now, look, we live in a world that is too darn fast pace. Look at, look at, look at, look at these guys. Zoom, 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 zoom. Fast pace world, fast, too many rabbits. Look at all these rabbits. Too many rabbits, you know, the, the system is all about creating rabbits, you know, and getting people to operate in a fast pace concerning their own agendas to get things accomplished to whatever that they're doing, you know. Look at them. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. Fast, fast, fast. But the thing is, we're supposed to run in a race, according to, you know, Hebrews, with patience. With patience. You know, that, you know, that in Hebrews, yeah, Hebrews 12, supposed to run a race with patience, but that don't make sense. I mean, patience, you know, don't, you know, get anywhere. But here's the idea of the game. The idea of the game is all about developing. Ha ha. It's not about really that how, you know, it's about speed, but it's about who can develop the uh, ability to become who you are, you know what I'm saying? Who who can it's more likely it's not about uh how the car, how fast the car is, or how it's how the car is built. You know what I'm saying? That it can endure through races, as NASCAR knows about that reality. Uh that you build the car, you know, better and you know with quality parts. You gotta put quality things inside you to help you continue the process and continue to whatever needs to be done. You have to bring the best, you know, things inside you. And the turtle, you know, focused on putting the best things, you know, he, he's just one step. He just go one that slow step, 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 one step at a time. You know that song, one step, we got a song, one step at a time, sweet Jesus. And tomorrow may never be mine. We have to do this thing one step at a time. Because I learned, you know, when it comes to God talking to me about seasons, that seasons is all about enduring to a set time. Like Jesus knew that he had to, you know, be to a place at a set time. To, you know, change the whole game of the world, you know, the the world, the spiritual and the natural, you know, world, you know, to give humanity the ability to become, you know, who they are, made in the image and the likeness of God. And we, and he paced himself, you know, of course, he had to get arrested, he, I mean, betrayed, and he had to get arrested, and he had to go through certain things, you know. And the thing is, he 
went one step at a time. But here's the thing we like to do. We like to rush things, of course. That flesh loves to be in a rush, boy. That flesh will sit there and just, you know, hurry up, hurry up. We got to go. go. Like you saw all those cars flying by. Hurry up. We got to get here. We got to get here. We got to get here. Hurry up. Hurry. We got to get it. And the, but the, the, the race is, see, the scripture says the race is not given. The race is not given. See, the thing is, you, it's not given to these kind of people that's trying to be in a hurry. This is not hurry up. You know, and get to the finish line. This is not that kind of race. You know what I'm saying? But this race is about who builds the right, like I said, who builds the right, you know, kind of material. Who who develops the armor, puts on the whole armor of God. Who uh, de develops the love life, I mean, the love walk, you know, the love of God. The joy, peace, generous, long suffering, meekness, timidness, faith. This race is where where they're going to win. You know what I'm saying? This kind of race is not that kind of race that you see, you know, on, you know, TV. But this kind of race is different. It's for the ones who endure that will win this race that we have to understand in our preparation of the gospel, you know, that we need to uh, prepare for, that we need to develop everything according to the word of God and not according to our own ability. Now, here's the thing about the hair, you know, the, the rabbit, you know, the hair, you know. The, the rabbit is like cocky. He got this sense of cockiness and swag that, you know, look, I'm fast, you know, and I'm the fastest, one of the most fastest animals in the world, one of the most, you know. So th this is probably the, one of the most slowest animals in the world world I think it might be a snail or something I don't know but turtle might be slow of course I can beat them see cockiness and that kind of stuff leads to pride and a lot of people you know operate in pride you know you know and they think that pride is going to you know reward them uh, uh, something in the end but you know the scripture says pride cometh fall you know what I'm saying? And we're not understanding that, you know, we can't bring pride into this race because, you know, this is about humble. We're about humbling ourselves, you know, and understanding that God is supposed to develop, a, do a good work inside of us that we can, you know, endure through the race, you know. And that's what it's all about, endurance. And we need to position ourselves for endurance if we want to win this race. And this race is spiritual, not natural, spiritual. And we got to realize that, you know, and, you know, yes, you know, those cars out there, they can, you know, out race me, blow me away. But, you know, I'll be walking, you know, you know, and just pacing myself and stuff. And they can, you know, but guess what? I'm, you know, in, in their car, they just, you know, trying to focus on getting where they go. But I'm in a place that I can sit back and think and, you know, figure out things. And I'm working my body out. You know, I'm walking. I'm working my body, you know, keeping my body in shape, you know. But they're just riding, you know, they just press their foot on the gas pedal. And that's the only, you know, exercise and they get driving a car. Maybe, you know, a little arm, you know. I don't know that must take any exercise in driving, but there's no work in really driving. You know what I'm saying? You're not working your body driving, but I'm working my body. I'm walking. I'm I'm developing and pacing myself, and I'm sweating, and, you know, I'm purifying myself by sweating, you know. In the car, they got air conditioning. It's, they're cold, you know. It's, you know, they you know, you know, there's no, no sweat coming out, no purification coming out. Mm. But the thing is, I'm purifying myself and, you know, exercising, but, you know, preparing for something. But when trials and situations and circumstances come in life, I will be well prepared to handle them, you know, accordingly. They might not be well prepared because they, you know, living in a fast-paced race and, you know, they didn't, you know, you know they don't they they don't sweat they don't 
then detox themselves. You know, that's what sweat and purify detox. So they got some impurities things inside of them, you know, because they ain't been, you know. But I'm just ideal metaphor. Please follow the metaphor. I'm saying that, you know, you lazy people who drive. I'm not conveying it. But understand my example. It's just an example. But I'm just saying that, you know, we, this is why the turtle is going to win. The turtle is going to win because he's pacing himself. Because this is the kind of race that, you know, we can win. You know, that, that, that this is the kind of race that you can win when you, you know, take your time. You run with patience as what, you know, Hebrew and 12 said. That we can win this race and win and become victory. And God, we're supposed to have the victory if we're, you know, in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus is about victories because that's what, you know, he do because his dad is about victories. He never lost a, you know, battle. So when we start doing things right and correct, we know how to win the race and and keep the faith and have, you know, triumph. And that's what it's all about, you know, reflecting or it's all about reflecting the winner up in heaven. You know what I'm saying? It's not about us winning a race, but it's all about reflecting him and sharing to others that if you reflect the sun, you know, that's connected to, you know, the creator of the universe, you know what I'm saying, you can win in life. And, you know, and that's what it's all about, winning in life, you know, and when you're walking in the light. So that's the message. I hope you receive this message. And I hope you become a turtle and run with endurance and not running swift and, you know, because I learned when you go fast, you crash. And But when you learn how to do it, you win <clears throat> and cross over the finish line. All right. To God be the glory to him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Where I get this stuff from? <laughs>